Okay, here we're going to let f of x equals 6x plus 12, and g of x is equal to x squared minus 4. We want to find the domain of the following functions and then simplify their expressions. Enter your answer for each domain using interval notation. So if we take a look at part a, we want to be able to find g minus f of x. And so the definition tells us that we need to take g of x and then subtract f of x. So let's go ahead and do that. So g of x is x squared minus 4. And then we're subtracting 6x plus 12. So now the question says, okay, well, what is the domain of this function? Meaning that can we put, what values can we put in for x? We can put any values in for x and still be able to evaluate this function. So if we can put any values into that function, that means we, it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. So therefore, the domain of this function goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, now we need to simplify this function. So we're going to distribute the minus sign. So we end up with x squared minus 4 minus 6x minus 12. So if we combine like terms, we end up with x squared minus 6x minus 16. So there is the domain of part A, and then there is our result for part A. So let's take a look at part B. Okay, so for part B, they want us to find f divided by g of x. So the definition tells us that we need to take f of x and divide it by g of x. So f of x in our problem is 6x plus 12 divided by x squared minus 4. Okay, now we need to find a domain of this function. Before we do, we need to factor. Okay, so let's go ahead and factor the numerator which we can factor out as 6, and what's left is x plus 2. And then when we factor the denominator, this is difference of squares, so this becomes x plus 2 times x minus 2. Okay, so now we need to find the domain of this function. Okay, so in order to find the domain of this function, we need to set the denominator equal to 0. So x plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. So if we take x plus 2 and set that equal to 0, or x minus 2 and set that equal to 0, that means x cannot equal negative 2, or x cannot equal positive 2. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a number line because we got to answer this in interval notation. So that means that we have a zero here. We know that we have negative two on this side and we know we have positive two on this side. So we have negative infinity here and then we have positive infinity here. So it's gonna go from negative infinity to two but we can't include two so it's gonna have a parenthesis. And then it's gonna go from negative two to positive two. And then we're gonna go from two to infinity. So therefore, our domain is going to be the following. It's going to go from negative infinity to negative 2, union 2 to 2, union, and then 2 to infinity. So therefore, our domain is negative infinity to negative 2, union 2, 2, and then, sorry, negative 2 to 2. Excuse me, let me make sure that negative sign's in there. And then 2 to infinity. Okay, so again, make sure that uh, that should be a negative 2 here. Okay. All right, now the next step is, is that we just need now to simplify to get our final result. So now what we need to do is we need to simplify part 4. 
So if we simplify part 4 now, then we can say, okay, well, we have 6 times x plus 2 over x plus 2 times x minus 2. And so we can simplify the x plus 2s. And so therefore our answer is 6 over x minus 2. So there is our sim simplification there, and then here is our domain of that function.